Hello everyone, this will be a video of the Edwards, or EST, it doesn't really matter, I guess they're part of the same company if you want to say that. This is the GCS7. Well that was a pretty simple model number, I gotta say. As you can see, it's a part of the Genesis line, and it's ceiling mount too. And it's also a remote speaker. No strobe action in this video, I hate to say. Well, let's go over the alarm a little bit. As you can see, it's obviously ceiling mount. It's supposed to go on the ceiling like this. There's my very good looking ceiling, the Inviso ceiling, if you want to say that. Now you'll notice a tab right here. This is where you stick a screwdriver in. Mind you, I am just a collector. This is my device, so I can do this. Do not try this at home. Take the cover off, and there you go. You got the inside of the alarm. Now you got your wattage selection setting. It has one fourth watt to two watts capability, as you can see here. Let me try to focus that. There we go. Today's demo will be on one fourth watt, by the way. And we have the speaker itself, and of course your mounting holes. Don't forget the latch. So it's pretty simple enough. Just a speaker really. So let's close this back up and get on with the test. There we go. Just simple as that. Just latches on. Oh, here's one more thing I actually forgot to show you. The terminal connections right here. As you can see, here's the transformer and the terminal connections. There's only two because obviously this is a single device. It's the speaker. So there's your mounting holes right there. Might as well mention them again. And let's get on further with the test. Now that we have the showing of the alarm behind us, showing all the good features in there. Seriously, they're pretty good features. I gotta say that. Now it's actually time to test the alarm. Now I don't have an EST voice evacuation message that is necessarily playable for this video. However, I'll play a few other voice evac messages. Uh, might as well start with the female firelight voice evac message. Play through here. It actually sounds kind of cool. So, there you go. Let's start it. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. That was just one round, but you might have noticed it. Okay, it's not that loud necessarily. Well, I will say this. It's on one-fourth watt, the default setting the alarm came with, so it's not going to be that loud. And it's kind of nice. It doesn't blow out the mics, that sort of thing. Now for this next part, I'm actually going to play the simplex voice evacuation message. Then again, what is in a fire alarm video without the typical simplex voice evacuation message? It's like a long-lasting tradition, I gotta say. So, what I'm gonna do is play maybe one or two rounds of the message. Uh, it's not gonna go on very long. So, without further ado, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, I told you it wasn't going to be that long. Let's just say, okay, the p panel has been silenced somehow, and obviously the message stops. Now, if there was a strobe on this thing, it would obviously continue flashing. That's all I got to say for this part.
Now to spruce things up for this fire alarm video, that's a speaker only, I'm actually going to do sort of an open mic thing. I have a microphone hooked up to the amplifier that I'm using. So, let's go over, I don't know, some paging-like things that would probably be said over the voice effect system. So, here's one of them. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is a building emergency. All occupants must respond to this alarm. Do not use the elevators, but use the exit stairways. Attention, attention, this is a building emergency. Please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Okay, I might have messed part of it up, but you could also do something like this. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? It is now safe to re-enter the building. Please re-enter the building at this time and resume normal activities. Thank you so much for your cooperation. May I have your attention please? This is an all clear. Please re-enter the building and resume your normal activities. Thank you. Now the, that's just a sample of some things you could say. Or, if you wanted to be so unprofessional. My voice is coming out of a speaker. Basically, that sums up the point. So, that was a video of the EST, or Edwards, they're pretty much the same thing, just different, different applications. It's the GCS7, it's part of the Genesis line, and it's a ceiling mount speaker. Now, there's not much else I could do with this video. I mean, it could play music out of it, but that's kind of off topic of the video, I would say. But what about the open mic thing? Well. That was sort of a demonstration, okay, there's a building emergency, there's probably a need to com communicate to everybody during the emergency situation. You might have seen a few videos out there of, okay, someone in a hotel room, there's plenty of those. They're in the hotel room, they tell, okay, there's a fire on this floor, do not go there. So basically, they could talk to about a very specific situation. And also, as I kind of demonstrated, you could also page everybody back into the building, say, okay, it's safe to go back in. Or, notify everyone of testing. I've seen a few videos of that. So, there's not much more I could say about this thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And, that will be it.